I'll just I'll uh, ask sure. the first question. Thank sure. you very much for joining us here on a short notice. And of course, it's great to have you here back in Pakistan once again. You've had a long association with the PSL, starting off with Peshawar Zalmi in the opening season. Six years uh, down the line, coming back as Multan Sultan's head coach. Of course, you had a great season last year. We weren't really able to finish it off the way I believe that you and the entire squad would have wanted. Firstly, tell us about the preparation so far for this season and your whole PSL journey. Uh, because in a way, it is in its sixth year, right? Well, the preparations for the season for the upcoming tournament always starts with the draft. Um, obviously, getting the right people in the dressing room getting the right people in the squad is very important. So uh, the draft process is a very important one. And that gives you, I think, quite a good chance of, um, of success in the tournament. If you get some of those decisions wrong, then you haven't got the right people uh, on the dressing room, in the dressing room or on the ground. So that's a starting point. And uh, I think our draft went well. We've got to raise some really good personnel. Um, we ha we've got our first practice match this afternoon uh, against uh, Lahore Kalandas, and then we've got another one in two days' time with Zalmi. Uh, so that allied with a couple of practice sessions um, and getting a whole lot of new players, some of whom we've never met before, some of who some of whom have never played together before, um, is always a challenge in every franchise competition. Uh, so bringing that group together, um, helping them uh, feel comfortable together, helping them communicate with each other, uh, and, um, and obviously the captain getting to know those players and their roles in the, in the unit, those are all important aspects to getting the, getting the group ready for our first game, which is against Islamabad uh, on the 21st. I can't hear anything. If anyone is speaking, I can't hear anything. I guess Imad has a problem with his internet. So we will go on with the questions. Uh, first, Khalid Bhai, you can ask, and then we will go to Bazif. Uh, Andy, this is Khalid from Delhi Dawn, Karachi. Uh, hope you are here. I hope you can hear me. Hi, Khalid. Okay. okay. My question to you is uh, that uh, uh, Sultan has. Mulzah Sultan had a, had a great run last time, uh, seven, winning seven matches on uh, in at the league stage, but obviously the long break uh, between the playoff and the, and the league phase was uh, the 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 back uh, the back breaking moment for you. Now you have got Rizwan as captain, so uh, uh, why this change in, uh, in leadership at the at the last minute? Uh, what is the reason behind it? Well, firstly, Khalid, yeah, we had, did have a very good tournament last year, made the playoffs for the first time, uh, I believe, um, and played some really good cricket in the, in the round robin stages. And then, um, and then came back for the playoffs and we just pipped at the playoffs. Uh, so that was a, it was a really exciting season and we really loved the experience. It was a great experience for me as a coach. And I think the boys really enjoyed the tournament. Um, so, yes, we made a captaincy change. Uh, um, Rizwan has taken over. Rizwan has uh, um, shown that he's got leadership qualities. He's shown that um, in his appointment as vice captain for the Pakistan team. He's shown that in actually captaining Pakistan uh, when Baba was injured. Uh, he's also got some uh, got a really good record in domestic cricket. Um, they've just won the uh, T20 tournament um, for his state or province. Um, so uh, he's got he's got the qualities to make a very successful leader. I don't know him well, but obviously doing a bit of research on him, um, these are some of the, uh, the leadership qualities that we're looking for. Uh, for a new way forward for Multan. 
Um, in saying that, I would say that uh, I really enjoyed working with Shah Masood last year. Uh, I thought he captained very well. I thought he played well. Uh, and he was very much a part of um, us doing well last season. However, uh, nothing stays permanent in life. And this is a change that we've made. Um, Sean is still a very important part of the Multan uh, group. And uh, in whatever way, as a batsman or an internal leader, he'll still play a very big part in this upcoming tournament. Um, but for the moment, uh, Rizwan has been made captain. Um, and we're very much looking forward to him leading the side and us getting to the playoffs again. Bazif, your question next, and whoever wants to ask a question, please mention it in the chat. Thank you. Yeah, hello, Andy. This is Bazif Jabbar from Cricket.pk. And you've got quite a lot of top order batsmen in your side. There's James Wentz, there's Chris Lane, there's Mohammad Rizwan, there's Shan Masood. So, how are you planning to adjust them in the same lineup? Yeah, we've got, we have, uh, Bazid, got a, a good number of options for the top order, but the, the, there are also people in that lineup that you've just mentioned that have batted at three and four um, quite regularly. So we don't have, we, we're not concerned about the order. I think it's a strength for us that we have players that are adaptable um, and that we can adapt either to the conditions that are uh, at play or the opposition and some of their tactics. Um, so uh, we think that the number of options that we have at the top of the order and in the middle order uh, is a strength of ours. Uh, if you're asking about what particular order we're gonna use, I'm not gonna tell you right now. Um, we've got a couple of practice, practice matches now but obviously, um, sharing that sort of information for our opposition is, uh, we wouldn't do that. Najib, mm, should I go? Yes, you may proceed. I guess Imad is not available again. So you may proceed. Thank you. Hello, Muzammil. Hello, Andy. This is Muzammil from ARY. Um, I just want to ask that uh, you just mentioned uh, Shan, about Shan Masood, the captain, Multan Sultans, very really well last year. Seems like Rizwan's recent performance was mainly the reason he was uh, he, he's appointed the, uh, the captain at the very last moment. Don't you think uh, removing Shan Masood, who did uh, very well last year, uh, would reduce his confidence somewhere this season? Well, uh, firstly, in response to your first comment, no, it's not a short-term decision. Um, Rizwan has shown leadership qualities over uh, a longer period of time. It's not just his form with a bat. Um, we, uh, we would like to be part of his development um, for, uh, for his own good, but also part of his development for the good of Pakistan cricket. Uh, so I think uh, all of the franchises, I think, need to keep in mind the development of Pakistan cricket is uh, for the good of Pakistan cricket in the long term. Uh, Rizwan is a case in point in our particular example. Um, Shan is a really good young man uh, and uh, a strong young man. And he's had various speed bumps and hurdles to overcome in his young career. And this will be another one for him. It's not easy for him. And uh, we can empathize with him. Um, but we all grow stronger from some of the, we can grow stronger from some of these hurdles that we have to overcome. Uh, and in this case, I am absolutely certain that that is the way Sean will react. Fahad, you may ask him the question. Uh, hello, Andy. This is Fahad from Cricketholic.pk. My question is about James Wins. Uh, superb performance in the BBL included 98, uh, 98 and 95. 
uh, in the knockouts of BBL. How do you see his performance? Um, you broke up a little there, but I think you're talking about James Vince and his performances in the BBL. Um, he looks in great form, uh, which is a really good thing for us. He's had a very short break at home, and we've given him and a couple of the other players that have been involved in the Big Bash a little more time to take a little bit of a break. It means that after quarantine, they don't really get much of uh, a lead in time before our first game but we, we believe they needed a little bit of a break after Big Bash. So um, I've worked with James, James Vince a lot in the past, obviously with Multan last year, but also with the England Lions. I know him very well. Um, and he's, he looks like he's turning into a superb cricketer. Uh, he knows his game very well now. He's getting, I think he's building his confidence um, through uh, traveling the world and playing successful cricket. He looked good for Multan last year, and we expect him to do some special things uh, for Multan in this coming tournament. Okay, great. We just have a couple of minutes left. So, two quick questions. Muzammil first. Yeah. Ahmad, Ahmad, I need to ask the question, please. Hey, Muzammil first, please, and then Zubair. Imad bhai, Imad bhai, I have already asked. Go with Zubair. Okay, bhai. okay. Zubair, Zubair, go ahead. Sorry. Zubair, go ahead. Yeah, hi Andrew. This is Zubair from Express News Karachi. Really, I'm very happy and glad that I've got a chance to conversation with you. Uh, my question is Thanks, that uh, you are definitely your squad is very strong. And uh, when we see in the squad, we we see that Shahid Afridi is there and also Rizwan and Sohil Tanvir is uh, very important. Usman Qadir, Eastern side. Definitely, he will play very good. So, overall, how you see that you are a scout, including these guys, especially I'm talking about the Shahid Khan Afridi. Thank you. Zubair, I, I didn't quite catch my the, the full question, um, but I think you're asking, um, considering the strength of our squad and the numbers of good players that we have, how are we going to balance and pick some, pick everyone? Um, I think we, we do have some very strong options. We've got some really good experience in our squad, which I think is important. Uh, I think we've got some, we've got two talented young emerging fast bowlers in Dani uh, and Umar. But some of the more experienced guys that you've mentioned, yes, some of those players will be sitting out of our 11s. Um, and that'll, that'll be tough for them. Uh, but I think they've played enough cricket that they realise that not everyone can play every game. But I'm pretty certain that through the tournament, which is a long tournament, um, and a lot of things happen in that tournament, uh, we know that from experience, that everyone's going to get their opportunity to make a difference for more time. So whether it's, uh, obviously, we've got three leg spinners, three very good quality leg spinners, they can't play all the time. So they are going to have to be patient and humble when they don't play and make sure that they're ready for the chance when they do play so that they can give to the team. Um, I think... You know, the quality of the people that we've got, not just the players, but also the people that we've got in our dressing room, uh, will ensure that uh, everyone's working together uh, in the right way um, and making decisions very simply uh, in the best interests of uh, Multan. Okay, just one last question, Andy, if we can just have a minute. Musad, if you can quickly qu uh, have a short question at Andy, because he just uh, has some other commitments, please. If yeah, thanks, really Amat. Keep... thanks, Amat. Thanks, uh, Amat. Good morning, Andy. This is Masad from Change of Pace. Uh, Imad, quick question. I, I, I haven't heard anything for the last 60 seconds. Sure. Okay. Can you guys hear me? All right, perfect. Great. Uh, Andy, my question is that you guys have got three world class leg spinners in your lineup Shai Dafridi, Imran Tahir, Usman Qadir. Can you I hear can me? Hear you, yeah. 
Okay, perfect. So out of those three leg spinners, is there ever going to be a time where we see Multan play all three of them? And if not, uh, is there a distinction between who your first two picks will be between those three? Well, I think those are some uh, interesting selection decisions that we've got to make around those three leg spinners. Three world-class leg spinners. We know about Afridi, over, uh, Afridi and Imran Tahir over decades of international cricket and now franchise cricket. And Usman Kadir is the new kid on the block with uh, tons of talent and lots of energy um, and a real attacking bent to his game. He's worked very closely with uh, Mushtaq Ahmed over the years, uh, who I think has been a good coach and guide and mentor for him. Uh, and he very much bowls in the attacking manner that wrist spinners, uh, great wrist spinners from Pakistan have historically done. So that's very exciting, not only for Multan, but also for Pakistan. We've seen him play a little bit of international T20 cricket which is really exciting uh, watching him bowl. Uh, so we've got some very tricky uh, selection decisions to make. One of those decisions um, will be around, um, obviously Imran Tahir is an overseas player. So balancing which of our four overseas players will be playing um, will be part of that equation. Uh, but it's very exciting to have both the, the older, more experienced, very confident guy that's seen it all in Afridi uh, and, the other, and on the other side of the, um, of the Pakistani player scale, we've got this young, enthusiastic, um, very talented leg spinner in Usman Qadir, um, who is pushing hard for a place on merit. So these are good uh, selection dilemmas to have. Uh, and we're very excited about our wrist spinners creating some havoc in the opposition. Thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, on a short notice, you've been able to deliver it. Thank you very much. And look forward to seeing Multan Sultans and you do very well in the PSL. Thank you again for your cooperation. All the best. That's a pay. Thanks, Emad. Nice to see you. All the best, guys. Thank you. So one by one, start करें कि हमारे 11:30 पे एक और भी कमिटमेंट है। तो प्लीज एक सवाल कीजिएगा, खुद क्वेश्चन कीजिएगा। हम स्टार्ट करते हैं जुबैर भाई। जी जुबैर भाई। जी शादाब। जी। आवाज आ रही है आपको? जी जी आ रही जी आ रही। हाँ, ओके। शदाब अब तक की प्रिपरेशन को लेकर आप क्या देखते हैं क्या सूरत हाल है मजबूरी तौर पे अपने खिलाड़ियों को सामने रखते हुए ओवरऑल कैसा देखते हैं आप जी बिल्कुल सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि हमारे टीम में ज्यादातर नेशनल प्लेयर्स भी हैं और जो ओवरसीज प्लेयर्स हैं वो खेल के आ रहे हैं तो और जिधर भी खेल रहे हैं वो अच्छी अच्छी फॉर्म में और ये टीम के लिए अच्छा साइन होता है और Uh, क्योंकि हमारे जितने भी नेशनल प्लेयर्स हैं वो भी रिसेंटली टी ट्वेंटी सीरीज भी खेल रहे हैं और जो हमारे अवसिस प्लेयर्स हैं वो बिग बैश या टी टेन खेल के आ रहे हैं तो वो uh, अच्छी फॉर्म है और uh, अच्छे टच में नजर आ रहे हैं तो वो टीम के लिए अच्छा साइन जी खालिद भाई आपको अगर आवाज आ रही है तो प्लीज आप क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं शादाब असला वालेकुम शादाब ये बताइए कि इस्लाम यूनाइटेड इज ओनली फ्रेंचाइज जिसने दो टाइटल जीता है लेकिन लास्ट ईयर उनका बहुत ही बुरा गया और दे फिनिश एट एट द बॉटम तो मतलब उस परफॉर्मेंस को मद्देनजर रखते हुए आप लोग इस दफा कितने पुर उम्मीद हैं कि इस दफा इनशाला वो गलतियां नहीं दोहराएंगे जो पिछले साल हुई थी जी जो कोशिश यही थी कि जो लास्ट ईयर हमने लास्ट पी में हमने गलतियां किया कोशिश की है कि जो हम गलतियां कर रहे थे वो 
हम टीम ऐसी बनाए जो मैं लास्ट ईयर हम स्ट्रगल कर रहे जिस वजह से हमने ड्रॉप में जो सोचा था हमें अलहमदुल्ला वही मिला जो हम कम्बिनेशन बनाना चाह रहे थे हम दो तीन कम्बिनेशन बनाने के लिए जो ड्राफ्ट में हमने टीम ने दो तीन कम्बिनेशन के लिहाज से बनाई है तो आ, बिल्कुल पूरा उम्मीद हूँ क्योंकि लास्ट ईयर हमारा इतना अच्छा नहीं था लेकिन इन हम बाउंस बैक करेंगे और आ, अच्छी से अच्छी क्रिकेट खेलेंगे जी भाई भाई आपको आवाज आ रही है तो आप क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं भाई मैं कर लूं। अच्छा मैं मैं कर 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 लूं लूं अस्सलाम वालेकुम आपने देखा कि आपने खुद को प्रमोट किया ऊपर इस दफा आपका क्या प्लान है क्या आपने अपने लिए कोई नंबर सेट किया है या जहाँ टीम की जरूरत होगी या जहाँ सूरत हाल के मुताबिक आपको जाना होगा तो बेहतर ऐसा सच नंबर तो नहीं डिसाइड किया लेकिन कोशिश ये कि टॉप ऑर्डर में खेलूं और जिधर टीम को जरूरत होगी वहाँ जाऊं और कोशिश करूं कि टीम को वहाँ से अगर स्ट्रगल कर रही है तो वहाँ से निकालने की कोशिश करूँ और क्योंकि एज ए ऑलराउंडर आपको हर टाइम किसी भी सिचुएशन के लिए रेडी रहना पड़ता है तो कोशिश ये होगी जहाँ टीम स्ट्रगल करे जहाँ टीम को जरूरत हो वहाँ मैं जाऊँ जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सलामकुम शदाब भाई क्या हाल चाल है आपके शदाब भाई आ, पहले तो मुबारकबाद के एहसन अली आपके दोस्त हैं वो इस्लामाबाद यूनाइटेड का हिस्सा बन गए तो उम्मीद है कि वो अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस देंगे आ, दूसरा ये कि कॉलिन मनरो और क्रिस जॉर्डन दो प्लेयर हैं जो आ, आ, जो रिलीज आई है पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट बोर्ड की तो वो अब नहीं है तो उनको कितना मिस करेंगे और उनकी अदम मौजूदगी में टीम की परफॉर्मेंस जो जाहिर से बात जब आपने टीम बनाई होगी बन बन रही होगी जब आपने पिक किए थे इन प्लेयर्स को तो एक माइंड सेट था लेकिन अब वो दो प्लेयर्स नहीं है अब उनकी एबसेंस के अंदर जो रिप्लेसमेंट आई है वो इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं है तो कितना फर्क पड़ेगा टीम कम्बिनेशन पे डेफिनेटली हम मिस तो करेंगे आ, लेकिन जो हमने कम्बिनेशन बनाए थे वो हमने एक कम्बिनेशन ड्राफ्ट में नहीं बनाया था दो तीन बनाए थे और जो हमें रिप्लेसमेंट में मिले अलहमदिल्ला वो काफ़ी अच्छी हैं और जो हमें आ, टीम को और हमने पिक्चर्स वगैरह देखी हैं जो सूट कर रही थी हमने वही कोशिश किया कि वही रिप्लेसमेंट लें और हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि जो रिप्लेसमेंट आई हैं वो उससे ज़्यादा अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस दें डेफिनेट मिस करेंगे क्योंकि वर्ल्ड क्लास प्लेयर हैं दोनों आ, लेकिन आ, हमारे हाथ में कुछ नहीं है इसमें तो आ, जो हमारे पास है इंशाल्लाह कोशिश करेंगे उससे अच्छा से अच्छा परफॉर्म करें असन अली के बारे में असन अली के बारे में क्या कहेंगे डेफिनेटली एक अच्छा हमारी टीम में एक अच्छा साइन है कि वो ऐसा करैक्टर आया जो कि नेवर गिव अप एटीट्यूड रखता है और जिस तरह की फॉर्म में है हमारी बॉलिंग बॉलिंग यूनिट को वो उठा के रखेगा और क्योंकि जो ऐसा करैक्टर होता है वो टीम को भी पॉजिटिव वाइब्स देता है तो मेरे ख्याल से बहुत ही अच्छा साइन है हमारे लिए जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अली हसन अच्छा सलाम वालेकुम शादा कल जब प्रैक्टिस सेशन चल रहा था तो आप काफी पीछे खड़े हुए थे और थोड़ा डल डल से नजर आ रहे थे तो वाकई में आप सुपर फिट हैं अभी क्योंकि माशाल्लाह लास्ट ईयर जो आपकी कैप्टनसी थी सब जानते हैं जिस अंदाज से खेले और कप्तानी दिखाई तो एक प्लस पॉइंट था लेकिन अभी कुछ चीज समझ में आई कल मीडिया पर्सन यही सोच रहे थे शादाब को शायद कोई इशू है नहीं ऐसा सच इशू नहीं है आ, लेकिन आप जब रिकवरी के बाद आते हैं तो आपको थोड़ा टाइम लगता है मेंटली तो बस वही कोशिश है कि जितना जल्दी मेंटली मैं खुद को प्रिपेयर करूं क्योंकि मेंटली आप इंजरी के बाद आते हैं और इतनी बड़ी इंजरी से तो थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है लेकिन जितनी ज्यादा प्रैक्टिस करूँगा उससे मुझे मदद मिलेगी और मुझे अपनी बॉडी पर कॉन्फिडेंस आएगा जी मुजम्मिल <coughs> अच्छा शादा मुजमिल है फ्राम ए आर वाई मेरा सवाल ये कि रोटी ग्रुप आपका बड़ा मशहूर है और फ़ही मशरफ और आपके बाद अब हसन अली भी रोप पेन हो गए हैं और उम्मीद करते हैं कि आने वाले दिनों में मेम्बर्स बढ़ते जा रहे हैं तो इस्लामाबाद यूनाइटेड का पार्ट बनेंगे सवाल मेरा ये है कि हसन अली को जब आपने अनाउंस किया ड्राफ्ट के वक्त तो बड़े एक्साइटेड थे आप लेकिन उनकी फिटनेस पे बड़ी बात होती है उनके बैक पेन जो है वो बड़ा कांस्टेंट रहा उनके साथ तो उनके वर्कलोड को मैनेज करने के लिए कुछ सोचा है क्योंकि ऐसा ना हो चौंतीस मैचेस हैं और वो फिर बीच में उनको मुसलसल खिला के कुछ उनके साथ ऐसा हो जाए और वर्कलोड बेसिकली कैसे उनका मैनेज करेंगे 
जी बिल्कुल डेफिनेटली वर्क लोड तो मैनेज करेंगे लेकिन चौंतीस मैच सिर्फ हमने तो नहीं खेले हमारे तो बारह मैच है इनशाला तो बिल्कुल जो टीम की सिचुएशन होगी उस हिसाब से वर्क लोड मैनेज किया जाएगा फहीम का भी माइंड में है क्योंकि वो भी काफी क्रिकेट खेल रहा है तो वर्क लोड डेफिनेट मैनेज किया जाएगा क्योंकि पाकिस्तान की जितनी अच्छी परफॉर्मेंसेस ये दोनों दे रहे हैं तो वर्क लोड बिल्कुल मैनेज किया जाएगा क्योंकि ये इंजरी से वापस आ रहा है अभी माशाल्लाह जितना वो फिट लग रहा है अलहमदुल्ला जिस तरह उसने परफॉर्मेंस भी दी है तो वर्क लोड इनशाला जरूर उसका मैनेज किया जाएगा ओके जी लास्ट क्वेश्चन शदाब मुसाद फ्रॉम चेंज ऑफ पेस मेरा सवाल यह है कि फहीम अशरफ की रिसेंटली प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में उन्होंने काफ़ी दफ़ा हमें यकीन दिलाया कि वो एक बॉलिंग ऑलराउंडर है पर उनकी बैटिंग आहिस्ता आहिस्ता बहुत ज़्यादा इम्प्रूव हो रही है लास्ट ईयर में देखा था कि आप भी चार पे आए थे और काफ़ी अच्छी बैटिंग की थी तो कोई इरादा है इस्लाम यूनाइटेड का कि उनको बैटिंग में प्रमोशन दी जाए यार सारी चीज़ें हम आपको बता दें <laughs> अभी से <laughs> नहीं बिल्कुल देखें ये नहीं होता कि आप एज ए ऑलराउंडर खेल रहे हैं तो जो आपका मेन होता है जिस तरह फाइम के भी है मेरा भी है हम दोनों की बॉलिंग है और बॉलिंग ऑलराउंडर है हम डेफिनेटली मैंने भी इम्प्रूव किया बैटिंग में उसने भी किया अलहमदिल्ला वो जिस तरह के माशाल्लाह वो बैटिंग कर रहा है तो बिल्कुल इम्प्रूव किया लेकिन जो मेन चीज होती है आपकी बॉलिंग और हमें दोनों को बॉलिंग भी उसी तरह इम्प्रूव कर रहे हैं और कोशिश कर रहे हैं उससे डबल मेहनत कर रहे हैं कि बॉलिंग में भी उसी तरह परफॉर्म करें जिस तरह हम बैटिंग में कर रहे हैं तो बिल्कुल सोचा जाएगा लेकिन अभी आपको मैं नहीं बता सकता कि उसको हम प्रमोट करेंगे या नहीं थैंक यू सो मच जी आप सबका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए